Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I am your science teacher here with the short summary of today's Science Zoom online lecture number one. It is taken from chapter number one, Cell Tissues and Organs, and it is on page two and three of your book. This is your science book, Oxford Secondary Science, book one, written by Terry Jennings. Before starting my lecture, I just want to tell you about the course content also for the midterm. The midterm course includes biology portion, chapter number one, cell tissues and organs, chapter number two, sense and sense organs, chemistry portion includes chapter number six, air and the atmosphere, chapter number seven, solutions and suspensions. From the physics portion, we have chapter number eight, energy. Dear students, as you know that all living things are made up of cells. Have you seen the cells? Yes, obviously you have seen them in your previous class. This is the model of a plant cell. You have drawn it in your previous class. Then you have the animal cell. See, this is the animal cell. Okay? Cells have different shapes, sizes and they have different functions as well. Now, in today's lecture, I am going to tell you first about the cell that what is a cell? Cell is the functional unit, the structural unit and the basic unit of life. Both plants and animal cells cell with a slight difference in them. In today's topic, I am going to discuss the different organelles of the cell, organelles mean the parts of the cell along with their functions and also the similarities and the differences between animal and plant cells with the help of a Venn diagram. This is the Venn diagram and the, it includes the two circles where the circles uh, overlap each other. This will show the similarities while this portion and this one, this will show the differences. Now the parts of the cell which are similar to both animal and plant are as follows. Number one, the cell membrane. Cell membrane is the outer covering of the animal cell. It is also present in the plant, but it is not the outer covering. It has some pores in it and these pores allow materials to go in and out of it. What are these materials which go in and out through it? That are carbon dioxide, oxygen, food, waste materials, etc. Then we have cytoplasm. Inside the cell, we have cytoplasm. Cytoplasm is a jelly-like substance in which all the parts of the cell that are called the organelles are suspended in it. Out of these organelles, nucleus is the part of the cell which is present in both animal and plant cell. Nucleus is the control center of the cell. It controls all the activities that are going inside the cell. It also has the DNA which contains the hereditary material through which characters or genetic material are transferred from parents to offsprings. Then we have vacuoles. Vacuoles are the sac-like or bag-like structures in which, which, are, which are the storage houses for the plant and animal cell in which food, water, waste material, etc. are stored. Then mitochondria are present in both plant and animal cells. Mitochondria are the powerhouse of the cell. Powerhouse, it is called powerhouse because energy is produced over here. Then ribosomes, ribosomes are the site where proteins, very important nutrient of our body is synthesized over here. Now we will move towards the differences, in the differences the first difference comes from the presence of the cell wall. What is the cell wall? Cell wall is the outer covering of the plant cell it is not present in the animal cell. Cell wall is made up of a tough material that is called a cellulose and it gives rigidity to the plant cell. Due to the presence of cell wall, plants itself become rigid, they are hard. Then we have the chloroplast. Chloroplast are the disc-like organelles which contains a green pigment that is called the chlorophyll. Chlorophyll traps sunlight energy. And why do they trap sunlight energy? Because this energy is needed by the plants 
during the process of photosynthesis. Remember what is photosynthesis? Photosynthesis is the process by which plants make their own food. This is the main difference which makes a plant cell different from the animal cell. And why plants are different from animals? Because plants can make their own food, because they have chloroplast. Then another difference is the presence of a large vacuole. As I have told you, vacuole, a sac-like structure in which food is stored, water is stored. Why a plant has a large one vacuole and animals have many small vacuoles? Because plants can make their own food. They need to store their food in permanent, in a permanent site, in a permanent place where it should be stored. Next we have that the plant cells are usually found in a rectangular or um, hexagonal shape while animal cells are found in different shapes. So I, I think you have got the idea how plants and animals are different from each other. Dear students, now I will discuss the difference between plant and animal structure with the help of a, an activity. Okay. What do you think this is? Yes, you are correct. This is the cell membrane of an animal cell. Inside the cell membrane, we have jelly-like substance that is called cytoplasm. All the organelles of the cell are suspended in it. In the animal cell, the nucleus lies in the middle. This is the nucleus. Okay. Then we have the mitochondria. Yes, these are the mitochondria, the powerhouses of the cell. Then we have many small vacuoles present in the plant cell, in the animal cell, sorry. These are the vacuoles which are present in the animal cell. Right? Now, I'm going to do some slight changes over here and you can see that how I will convert this animal cell into the plant by just putting the cell wall it has become a, a plant cell see now I'm going to change the position of the organelles also for example I'm going to remove these vacuoles and I'm going to put one big vacuole over here now it has become a plant cell but one thing is missing and that is the presence of the chloroplast important characteristic or feature organelle of the plant cell see now it has been converted the animal cell into a plant cell i hope you have understood today's lecture thank you so much